Sergio Perez has showed poor performance yet again in 2023 in Suzuka and this time it does seem like Red Bull and sick and tired of having to deal with his inconsistency all over again. While their internal issue that persisted for the first five races of the season is now definitely gone and he's nowhere near a threat for Verstappen's championship hunts with how other teams have caught up quickly in terms of performance, Red Bull might be looking for a swift replacement. Maybe one Liam Lawson. Christian Horner's latest statement about the New Zealander has revealed quite some stuff that Perez needs to think about, but this time it seems like maybe he's used all the aces up his sleeve. Suzuka was a weekend to forget for Perez, but not for Red Bull as the Austrian team managed to clinch the Constructors' Championship on their engine provider's home soil, marking yet another dominant season ever since the 2022 technical era started. While it was definitely gripping to watch Perez and Verstappen go head-to-head -head in the first four races, winning a couple each and being on a six-point difference in the Drivers' Championship ever since Miami, Perez' slump has been so big to the extent of him being close to being replaced by mid-season. Horner, however, has defended his second driver on multiple occasions and has been more than clear that Ricardo signing in AlphaTauri is only going to allow the Aussie to have a proper shot at the Red Bull seat from 2025 onwards. But this was during a time where Liam Lawson hasn't yet made his debut in F1. And boy, what a debut that was. Two points in the first four races and two P11 finishes in Monza and Suzuka, beating his teammate Tsunoda all on four of the those occasions. It seems like he would have been the perfect replacement for Ricardo, but after AlphaTauri have confirmed their lineup for the 2024 season with the Japanese driver and the Honey Badger, Lawson might be looking at a bigger fish to fry. I know what's currently going through your head. Perez has a contract with Red Bull for 2024 and all of the hints say that he's very likely to be replaced for the 2025 season as well. And this might be the right scenario after all. But what Red Bull have realised all of a sudden is that there is a huge possibility they lose the prospect of Liam Lawson. And then there's a massive threat that he had signed for Williams in the upcoming year and dedicate his career to another project. A similar scenario of what Piastri did to Alpine earlier in 2022. You'd think that Lawson would prefer being Verstappen's teammate any time of his career than drive for a team that's currently placed seventh in the Constructors' Championship, right? Well, again, you would be right, but you need to understand one thing. Lawson is not looking to be Red Bull's reserve driver in 2024, and with only one seat remaining, he'll do anything he can in order to get that if possible. When talking about his foreseeable future, the Kiwi said, I wouldn't be happy to go back to being reserved, but obviously I know how hard it is to get into Formula One and I understand that that can be really difficult sometimes. So obviously what will happen will happen, but these things I just haven't really thought about too much. I'm just trying to make the most of this. Lawson has also admitted that even before his debut in Alpha Tori, he knew that getting a seat there or in Red Bull in 2024 would be practically mission impossible, especially Red Bull since the Perez contract had been renewed last year and there's nothing that should worry the Mexican. At least that's what's to be believed according to the contract sheet. Perez also had a contract with Racing Point before they announced that they'll be buying it out and replacing him with Vettel. And we know that this was the case with Ricardo and McLaren last year as the Woking base squad had to buy out the Aussies contract to bring his younger compatriot on board. The tension between Perez and Verstappen has been quite high ever since last year's Sao Paulo actions and while I highly doubt that Red Bull would want to risk the current situation that they have, they still need to think about their future. Lawson is only 21 years old, managed to get into Q3 in Singapore, out qualified both Verstappen and Perez, finished the highest from any Alpha Tori driver in 2023 and has hanged around the points in P11, which would have easily been more points for him with a little more luck on his side. Regardless, Horner hasn't been immune to Lawson's performance, and while Red Bull has been quite harsh on their rookies, such as the case with Albon and Gasly, who already had debuted with Toro Rosso and wanted to make cases for themselves as proper championship contenders in Red Bull, an opportunity like Lawson might be the one that comes every once in a while. 
Yes, Albon and Gasly might have underperformed compared to Verstappen, but that was during a time when Red Bull's consistency and speed was quite questionable, as it was at the Mercedes-dominated era that marked this period. On the contrary, in 2023, Red Bull has been the most dominant outlet on the grid, to the point of Verstappen single-handedly having a 95-point lead compared to the second team in the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes. Perez, however, is holding a thin 33-point lead compared to Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship in P2, which, considering the fact that his teammate has won more or less every race in 2023, with the exception of three events, is definitely not a scenario that Red Bull wants to place themselves in. With how McLaren has picked up the pace, and with how Norris has sent fierce warnings that they're much closer to Red Bull compared to what anybody thinks, the Austrian team might be forced to act on this matter sooner rather than later and Horner's latest statement has definitely suggested that they're thinking about Lawson on a more serious manner in this moment. When talking about him as a driver, Horner had nothing but praise for the Kiwi, but it was the interview regarding the Williams seat that slipped some important information regarding the future of Lawson as the Brit went on to elaborate. Look, all of those drivers are Red Bull drivers, effectively placed at Alpha Tori. Daniel, with his experience and his motivation to come back, I think he'll add great leadership to that team and a great benchmark. Yuki has been making progress, and I think having Daniel there as a benchmark he'll only learn from that. Liam, it's only a matter of time before he gets his opportunity and full-time chance. To have the three of them there is very strong for the group. At Red Bull Racing, we want the best two drivers that are available. Checo is in the hot seat at the moment and will obviously be keen to extend. We'll see how Daniel does, we'll see how Yuki does, and in the background, we'll see what Liam's capable of in the test and reserve role. Of course, Liam is not interested in the reserve role, and if Red Bull do not pay more attention to him, he might be focused on Williams, something James Vowles has said that will definitely be a scenario his team would want to exploit to a further extent. Christian Horner has also responded to these talks, but his response was quite interesting. He feels like Williams are not going to sign Liam Lawson because they won't be looking for a one-year contract driver to replace Sargent. Williams have never suggested that they're going to put a replacement for Sargent for one year only, which only means that Red Bull might already have plans for Lawson in 2025. However, will this be a bit too late? Compared to Sargent, Lawson has been better in the four races so far, and it's safe to say that apart from Perez, the next hottest seat, the one without a contract for 2024, is the one of Logan Sargent. He's cost his team around $3 million in repair costs, and is the only driver to have driven every race this this season without scoring points. When you compare that to the amazing four race run of Lawson, you'd understand why Williams would want to put a competitive driver alongside Albon, who has scored all of the 21 points that Williams has on board now and is effectively single handedly keeping them on the seventh position in the Constructors' Championship. One thing is for sure the determination from Lawson to race in 2024 is definitely there, and facing the risk of losing him to Williams and potentially even Mercedes, Red Bull might be forced to act sooner rather than later and pull a move like Racing Point did to Perez back in 2020, which would complete an entire cycle on Perez's career. Do you think that Lawson is a proper replacement for Perez in Red Bull? And more precisely, do you think that this is not another DeFries case in the making? Let us know in the comments below.